Hi everyone, in this video I will walk you through the Ismara web results on an example dataset and show you what you can expect when you run your data with Ismara. Check out our Ismara upload video to see how you can upload your data to the Ismara web server. For today's video I chose as example the dataset from Renault et al, who studied the dynamics of gene expression in mouse liver from just before birth until early adulthood. RNA-seq data were obtained at 12 time points from two days before birth until 60 days after birth, which correspond to the pre-birth, suckling and weaning stages of development. We took the raw RNA-seq reads from this publication and uploaded them to this Mara web server. Now, before I dive into the results, I would like to briefly outline what this Mara does. Ismara's main aim is to identify the gene regulatory interactions that are underlying the observed gene expression changes in the input data. That is, Ismara predicts the key transcription factors, how these transcription factors are changing their activities across the samples, which gene of these transcription factors are targeting, and more. To do this, Ismara models gene expression in terms of transcription factor binding sites and activities of transcription factors using a linear model illustrated here. There are two inputs to the model. First, Ismara processes the raw sequencing data and calculates the expression matrix E that gives expression of each promoter P in each sample S. Second, Ismara has computationally predicted transcription factor binding sites for a large collection of transcription factors across all promoters genome-wide. These binding site predictions are summarized into a site count matrix N that gives the number of binding sites for each motif M in each promoter P. Ismara now models the expression of matrix E in terms of the site count matrix N and a matrix of motif activities A, which represents the activities of each of the regulatory motifs M across the input samples S. That is, the motif activity AMS reflect how much the occurrence of a binding site for motif M is in a promoter that affects its gene expression in sample S. Let's illustrate how this works for an example gene. The SMAR interface provides plots of all expression profiles of all promoters and this plot shows the expression profile of the promoter of the gene NOC1. As we can see the expression of this gene is going down as development progresses. If one clicks on the link one is taken to the genome browser view where one can see the transcription factor binding sites that are predicted in this promoter. The transcription factor's name is indicated at each site and the intensity of the red color indicates the confidence in the predicted binding site. Using the predicted binding sites in each promoter, Ismara now determines motif activities for each sample so as to best fit the observed expression profile. This fitting results in predicted expression profiles for each promoter and we here see the predicted expression profile for NOC1 in orange. On the right is a list of transcription factor motifs that contributes to this fit. We will now walk you through the main results that Ismara provides. When Ismara analysis of the dataset has finished, the first results page you're taken to looks like this. It shows a list of all motifs that are sorted from top to bottom in order how significant they are for explaining the expression changes in the dataset. Once we click on a given motif, for example, E2F2 underscore E2F5, we are taken to a page with results for this motif. The first thing you see on top of this page are sequence logos of the motifs, followed by the description factors that are associated with them. In this case, E2F2 and E2F5. Note that this Mara groups highly similar motifs into motif groups, and here the motifs of E2F2 and E2F5, which are practically reverse complements of each other, have been grouped. This plot shows the inferred motif activity across the samples, including error bars. Formally, the motif activity in a sample corresponds to the expected log fold change in expression that would result from removing a single binding site from this promoter. This profile says that E2F2, E2F5 motif is upregulating its targets most in the pre-birth stage, and that its targets are progressively downregulated with time. Importantly, these motif activities are inferred solely from the expression of the targets of the motifs and have not considered the expression of these transcription factors themselves. To use this information, Ismara calculates for each transcription factor associated with the motif the correlation between the activity profile of the motif and the expression profile of the TF across the samples. 
we see that of the two transcription factors, E2F2's expression shows a much higher correlation with the motif's activity. Indeed, E2F2's expression almost perfectly correlates with this motif's activity, suggesting that E2F2 is likely responsible for the motif activity in this system. Note also that because the expression is positively correlated with the motif's activity, we can infer that E2F2 acts as an activator. If the correlation had been negative, this would have suggested that E2F2 acts as a repressor. Apart from showing the motif activity is sorted in the order that samples are given by the user, ISMAR also provides a table where the samples are sorted from the most significantly upregulated at the top to the most significantly downregulated at the bottom. Next, this table shows a list of all predicted target promoters of the motif sorted by significance. This significance is calculated as follows. For each promoter that contains predicted binding sites for the motif M, we calculate how important these sites are for fitting the observed expression profile. We have the observed expression profile of the promoter, shown here in black, and in red the expression profile predicted by Smara using original site count matrix. We then remove the binding site for motif M from the promoter P, leading to this new blue site count matrix and recalculate the predicted expression profile, shown here in blue. The target score for motif M in promoter P quantifies how much better the original predicted red expression profile was compared to the new blue expression profile. ISMAR provides a table with the top target promoters which includes links to the genome browser view of the promoter and more information about the associated transcripts and genes. Note that one can interactively change the number of entries shown and search results of the targets. The full list of targets is also provided as a downloadable file. If you click this show fit button of a target, you are taken to a page which shows the promoter's observed expression profile, which lets you explore how individual motifs affect the predicted expression profile. The orange curve by default shows the predicted expression without influence of any motifs, and by clicking on all on button, one can see predicted expression profile of the full ISMARA model. On the right, one can interactively turn on and off the influence of individual motifs and observe how this affects the predicted expression. ISMARA also provides a number of tools to explore the set of target genes of a motif. First is a string database analysis. This picture shows known relationship between the top 100 targets of the motif as provided by the string database. If you click on the image, you will be taken to the string website where you can explore what's known about these genes in detail. In this case, one can find that the large cluster of highly connected targets consists of genes involved in the cell cycle. ISMAR also investigates which gene ontology categories are enriched among the targets. These tables of enriched GO categories can be interactively sorted either by total score summed over all targets in the category or by the average score per target. Finally, of particular interest are the predicted regulatory interactions among the transcription factors themselves. In this picture, E2F2, E2F5 motif is shown in the center, and all predicted interactions are shown where this motif targets the promoter of another transcription factor, or where another transcription factor targets the promoter of either E2F2 or E2F5. Moving the slider selects interactions over a target score cutoff, and mousing over links shows the target score of the link. Finally, we note that on the left of the main page, there is a menu with links to other result sections, a search field to find the results of, for a specific gene or promoter, a button for performing further downstream results, and links to downloadable files with all the results. That is all. Thank you for listening. And remember, you can always contact us with any questions. Bye.